Hello everyone and welcome to my video lecture series. Our topic for today is multiple ovulation embryo transfer which is also called as MOET. Okay. So uh, what do you think where is this technique used? So basically MOET which stands for multiple ovulation embryo transfer is used in animal husbandry so you know what animal husbandry is animal husbandry is rearing of domesticated animals so that you get products and byproducts which are economically very viable okay so what happens is in animal breeding to produce good quality hybrid animals this technology is used as you all know hybrids are much stronger animals compared to their parents so that is called as hybrid vigor so what happens is hybrid animals are much more stronger they give a better yield as well as uh, probably their age structure also increases a bit compared to their parents and they are much more stronger okay so this technique MOET is used in the production of hybrids okay so now let us have a look at what this technique exactly is uh, a hormone which is called as the follicle stimulating hormone I hope you know what FSH is this hormone is responsible for the maturation of follicles present in the mammalian ovary okay so I think you must have heard of graphene follicle primary follicle secondary follicle so graphene follicle is the mature follicle which ruptures and releases the ovum okay and finally that ovum is fertilized by the sperm so the maturation of the follicles inside the ovary is because of FSH so I'll write down the function of FSH the function is maturation of ovarian follicles alright so what happens is this FSH is basically injected in female cattle also called as cow and they are administered quite a large dose of FSH okay so what happens is this FSH which is injected in a larger quantity along with the normal FSH in the cattle will produce a phenomena called as super ovulation so what do you think is super ovulation in normal cases ovulation occurs wherein at the most one or two or maybe three ovums might be released from the ovary on the day of ovulation so that is called as ovulation but when a lot of FSH is given or administered to an animal a process called as super ovulation occurs wherein at one time six to eight ova or eggs will mature at a go do you get me so what happens is super ovulation will occur that means a large number of mature ovum will be released in inside the female cow and then what happens is when they are super ovulating they are either mated with a superior bull so a superior bull is a bull which is having very high rate of fertility okay so it is either mated with a uh, superior bull or artificial insemination technique is used to fertilize the ovum so what happens in artificial insemination basically in artificial insemination the sperms are collected from a superior bull and they are stored okay and whenever needed this semen is inserted inside the reproductive tract of the female so what happens is the sperms then they will fertilize the ovum so that is why it is called as artificial insemination so either of the two techniques will be used so what will happen because of that is the ova which are released due to super ovulation will get fertilized and after fertilization obviously the zygote will be formed the zygote will undergo cleavage to form as you know morula morula will turn to gastrula I am sorry blastula and when that blastula is formed and when it is between 8 to 32 celled that I am sorry that blastula is removed from that female 
okay so do you understand what is happening first of all that cow was given a high dose of fsh because of that super ovulation occurred wherein a large number of ova matured around 3 to 8 ova or 6 to 8 ova then that super ovulating cow was mated with a superior bull or artificial insemination was used because of that the sperms fertilized almost all the ova and because of that a large number of zygotes were produced and these zygotes developed into blastula and when these blastula were formed between the 8 and 32 cell stage they were removed from that female and then they were injected or they were inserted into a surrogate mother so what is a surrogate mother a surrogate mother is a female animal in which a developed zygote is inserted so that it can get attached inside the uterus and grow so why is this done why are the blastula not kept inside the super ovulating female because once the blastula is removed and inserted inside the surrogate mother the earlier cow is again free so again she will be given a dosage of fsh again she will super ovulate again she will be mated or inseminated and because of that again fertilization will occur again the blastula will be formed again it will be removed and it will be inserted so that is why the cow which is used for super ovulation is a separate cow and the cow which is used for the attachment of the blastula and the uh, successful gastrula she is a different cow and surrogate mother is used i hope you understand why there are two females which are used so because of this the process becomes much much faster and time efficient and economically also it is much much beneficial to the person who is practicing the method okay so this method that we learn today is called as multiple ovulation embryo transfer so once more just let us write down the steps okay so first of all the female animal is taken okay she is administered fsh so that causes a process called as super ovulation so what happens in super ovulation 6 to 8 eggs mature simultaneously then what happens is that super ovulating female is mated with a superior bull superior bull is a strong and fertile bull or she is artificially inseminated that is semen is inserted inside her tract artificially and then what happens is fertilization occurs blastula which is formed into bracket between 8 to 32 cell stage is removed and inserted in a surrogate mother all right so earlier cow is again free to undergo super ovulation correct so this process will go on so one cow is always used for super ovulation the other one will more or less be used as a surrogate mother a surrogate mother is a mother which is basically used for the growth of the developing embryo and to give birth to the fetus okay so this entire technology or this flow chart that i have drawn is called as multiple ovulation embryo transfer if you are asked this question in the exam you can always draw a flow chart like this it becomes much easier for the examiner to notice that you have understood the concept okay so that is about multiple ovulation embryo transfer
So I hope you have understood this concept. It's a fairly easy concept used in animal husbandry. Okay. So thank you for listening to the lecture patiently. Cheers. If you want to uh, get any other information regarding the topic or if you need to contact me, here is my email address.